A very good evening to everyone on this Saturday evening. Once again, we are here for an exciting debate on math again. And this time, we have one of my personal favorite topics, and that is how math is actually used by different brands of mobile phones. Yes, that's right. Every brand uses a lot of math concepts. Today, we are about to explore that. And while we do this, I want all of you to understand that how math can actually be applied in every little concept. And all our young learners today are going to inspire all of you at how they look at math beyond textbooks. So this program is brought to you by HLS India and our math school. A warm welcome to all the students of Tunes International School Abu Dhabi from UA. Let's wish them all the best. Let all the students come up. Good evening, sir. Good A evening, very sir. good evening good to evening, everyone. Sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Excellent. So good to see all of you today. And some exciting faces, some exciting smiles, and of course, a lot of curiosity. Wonderful. Okay, so uh, what you're going to do is we are going to ask each one of you to introduce yourself and you must say why or what actually inspired you to participate in this math debate, right? Let's start with the students of team A. Hazim, would you like to introduce yourself first? I'm my first, first studying in grade Dunes International School. The reason I enrolled myself in this competition is due to the fact that math has always been my favorite subject. Everywhere we look, math applied over there, whether directly or directly. And we all may have heard and participated in the base in the subjects like science, English, or social science. But math debate is a relatively new concept, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, we'll go to Hanya. You're next. Hanya, are you there? OK, I, can you hear us? Maybe she's facing some network issue. We'll go to Anzan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's Asnan, sir. Okay, Asnan, go ahead. Uh, good morning, all. Good evening, all. My name is Asnan from eight. Uh, I'm from eighth grade in Dunes International School. What in inspired me the most to uh, enroll for this math debate is because I have enrolled for a lot of competitions for the past few years, and uh, and math plus debate it's uh, something new to me. So I wanted to try it. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Uh, let's ask uh, Devaj. Uh, good evening, all. Greetings to all. My name is Devaj. I'm from grade 8 at uh, Dunes International School. What inspired me the most to en enroll in this competition because I've never been in a debate on mathematic topic. And I like maths a lot. And, and that's the reason. Excellent. Very good. Let's go to uh, Team C. Gotham. Yeah. So a very warm welcome to all present here. So this is Gautam Arbham from AT Dunes National School. So I have participated in this debate to test my knowledge. Not uh, I also like math. That's aside. But uh, I want to test my knowledge first um, using my speaking skills. So I first find myself great in maths, uh, but I won't say I'm a scholar in it or what, but I'm somewhat good at debate also. So I just came here to learn something new from today's debate, learn something new from my fellow classmates and other great minds like the uh, Divesh sir. So I think this might give me another way uh, or some other ways to improve my knowledge and skills. 
so this is all about teamwork knowledge research work and other minds great minds so i hope that today's debate will enrich and nourish my mind so that's why i participated in this debate excellent wonderful gautam swasti what about you hello all my name is swasti palwar from grade 6 g of dunes national school and i have taken part in this debate as it has two things that i really really enjoy maths which is also one of my favorite subjects as well as debating which i find incredibly fascinating and i had to take part in this debate when since both of these things go hand in hand so i thank unmath school the school times in my school for giving me this wonderful opportunity for me as today i will be learning a lot of new things from my friends wonderful i like the enthusiasm and the spirit of all the members so far we'll quickly go to uh, aditya yes sir greetings everyone i am aditya from grade 8 i wanted to take part in this math debate because math was always my fav- favorite subject and as it has tremendous number of topics and it has various real life applications math debate is quite a new concept for me so i'm curious to take this opportunity and i really i really thank my school dunes international school and the unmath team and school times for giving me this great opportunity Wonderful! You're so happy to have you. Would you want to ask a team member to introduce yourself? Yes, Parvati Babu. Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Parvati Babu from Grade Eight, Dunes National School. I I love maths, and I've always wanted to participate in the math debate. And I'm happy to get a chance to participate. Like math is very important in life, and it's basically a game filled with shapes and numbers. and also after this debate i want to learn more about math in different levels so that's why hmm. i want to participate interesting we have one more member left hania from team a would you like to introduce yourself yes sir hello everyone i'm hania nam of grade 6g from dunes international school numbers helps us to understand the world and maths helps us to understand numbers the real life applications of maths are endless and through this debate i'm sure that i'll be able to understand more real life application in maths impressive i have to say this has been so far one of the best introductions i've ever heard so much of excitement so much of enthusiasm well all of you agree with me at least on one part you all are here definitely to participate in a contest but you're not just going to compete you're actually going to do something completely different which i don't think any one of you ever imagined i'm not talking about a small number i'm talking about you are going to inspire if not less at least a minimum of 10000 students by this show today who would have at least managed to look at math in a completely different manner all thanks to you all the effort that you've put in in the last few days would now show all our, your friends and your fellow classmates that hey look all our friends went up and spoke about math and how math is applied in different areas why do we feel math is so difficult or maybe math was so easy we never thought about it or math was so different we never assumed it it could be any of the assumptions so on that note all of you are here to inspire so many kids of course a lot of kids uh, you're going to inspire a lot of teachers who might use your example in the classrooms in the future to say that if your friend could think of math in this way why aren't you thinking so the teacher can actually use that as an example and third a lot of parents who have had a lot of fear towards the subject when they were kids they can actually look at math in a different way all thanks to you and this is what is the main agenda that we all want to achieve out here of course maybe a team might score a few more points here and there but the fact that all eight of you are on the screen it means that all eight of you are fantastic winners you have achieved something already you've learned something you're going to exchange ideas thoughts so many wonderful things are going to happen and this experience that you're going to take back after the debate is going to remain for the rest of your life with the intention that after this everything that you look at you may wonder is math applied out here or is math not applied out here maybe that can help you maybe that can help you and your friends as well right so on that note we're going to take a very short break before we start with the session today but 
I want to wish all of you all the very best. And uh, also to let you know that I'm equally excited for today's show, not just because I'm usually not, but today is one of my favorite topics. I've said that in the beginning as well, because I am extremely fond of smartphones. And I'm going to cross-question each one of you when it comes to, I've used every possible brand and I'm, I can vouch for the fact, if you go wrong on the concept, I'm going to catch hold of you over there. I'm not talking about math, I'm talking about the brand of the phone, so don't worry. I'm not judging you over there, right? Now, can I see an extremely big smile on every child's face before we head out for a quick year up? Okay, I'm assuming all of you know the rules, so we won't take too much of time on that. After the break, we're going to start bang on. Wish you all the very best once again. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Okay, everyone. Now we are back, and this time I'm going to be taking a slightly different approach. I'm going to ask um, Team D to start first. So, Team D, would you like to start now? But before you start, just a quick reminder. You know you have four minutes to speak, and when you have about last 30 seconds, I am going to just point out like this for you. So you can keep a track of time. So once you cross four minutes, and if you still want to speak, remember you're going to be losing points if you speak more. So try and contain your your pointers within those four minutes. And I'm going to help you with the last 30 seconds by just pointing it out this. Okay. Are you ready, everyone? We start yes, with Team D. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Everyone, let's get started. And with Team D, we are going to be starting with uh, a popular a bunch of brands which all come under the same house. Uh, of Vivo, Oppo, which have captured the budget market overnight for the last few years and have been very, very successful. Let's get started with Team D. Yes, sir. Greetings, everyone. Me, myself, as Aditya Shahji, and my friend Parvati is going to speak about the application of map concepts on smartphone Vivo. Mathematics has played an increasingly large role in the development of new technologies. Among the most visible of new technologies, which is dramatically changing the way people interact and communicate with each other, is the emergence of cheap and increasingly reliable cell phone service. The tech company IBM is widely credited with the development of the world's first smartphone, the bulky but rather cutely named Simon. It went on sale in 1994 and featured a touchscreen, email capability, and a handful of built-in apps. Now I'm going to talk about the math concepts used in the making of a Vivo smartphone. Perimeter and volume. A smartphone is basically a three-dimensional shape. It has a volume. The phone from Vivo measures 161.3 millimeters into 74.2 millimeters into 7.4 millimeters, which is height into width into thickness with this volume. Weight. A normal Vivo phone weighs about 171 grams. Data handling. In the storage of a mobile phone, data handling is used through while separating the available memory left and the memory used, where we can see how much space each app or photo is taking. Measurement. The proximity sensor used in a Vivo phone detects how close is your smartphone screen from your ear during a phone call. And it cuts off the display light and internet browsing to save battery life. Now I pass the mic to Parvati. A ratio. Aspect ratio is a number that encompasses how wide your video is. It is the proportional relationship between a video's height and width. In a normal Vivo mobile phone, its resolution is 720 into 1280 pixels, which is 16 is to 9 ratio pixels. The common aspect ratios for videos are 
1 is to 1, meaning that an image's width and height are equal, forming a square. 4 is to 3, which is the standard measurement of a computer screen. 16 is to 9, which is the standard aspect ratio for smartphones. Capacity. The storage capacity of a Vivo phone is 128 GB or 256 GB and 8 GB RAM. Number system. Binary numeral system. Every internal operation, cell phone and mobile data devices is a binary number operation. The binary numeral system is an easy way, the only way that technological devices can interpret to represent information. So for instance, we send an input to the mobile phone. It is then converted to information through the binary code. Algebra. Had it not been for algebra, you will not be having flat screen TVs or smartphones. In algebra, specific numbers are replaced by symbols. While playing mobile games, you can see a character. That character is nothing but a string of various symbols. Also, a set of rules are followed to make the symbols interact in the right way, which will also require algebra. Math is needed at every step of life, and we cannot live without it. It is a subject that is applied to every field and profession. The cell phones and high-end gadgets that you use every day would not exist since the mechanism and working will involve complex algorithms, which are possible only because of mathematics. Mathematics has such a wide and huge application in every sphere of life. Thank you. Let's clap really hard for all of them. Come on. Both the members have spoken really very well and leaving exactly 30 seconds in spare. Well done. Now, if anybody has any question, you may want to ask that question in the chat box. But I personally have a few questions. And one of them is that any one of you from your team can answer from Team D. Uh, if you were to pick and choose that one particular concept without which Vivo and Oppo would not be able to survive, which topic would that be and why? So... So could you just repeat the question, yeah. sir? I, I didn't actually hear you. Which topic uh, would you, uh, which topic in Oppo and Vivo, you think according to math, is used the most, and it's kind of the most important concept of math, without which the company cannot operate? So the I could say algebra, sir. Algebra, sir. Algebra is like a Why? main topic used in... Um, so without algebra, we cannot do anything. So it's related to everything. Mainly algebra will be used for, I believe. So. OK. And any other answer beyond that? OK, fair enough. So let's move to the next team. Uh, on that note, we have finished the first round very well. Uh, good, good answers. I'm sure everyone's taking a lot of good points from this. Now it's time for our very own Team C to get started. So Gautam and Swasti, are you ready? Yes, Your time yes, for four um, minutes. Four minutes starts now. That is geometry in the humming of strings. Music in these peers. Well said by Pythagoras. From this quote, he conveys the message that math is not just a concept, but a language which gives hope that every question has a solution. Mathematics as a foundation will determine the boundaries of future development. Huai was first found in 1987 by ex-military officer Wang Zhengfu. So in the past 20 years, mathematics has played a very great role in enhancing the Hawaii products. So we are very willing to share with you how Hawaii formed engineering problems into mathematical ones. So for example, in 2008, Hawaii Russian mathematician came up with a mathematical solution for a problem, which now solved the problem of 2G and 3G base stations. So now it has realized the integration of 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G base stations, whose power consumption has reduced to 50% and took great lead. The mathematical knowledge has really helped Hawaii take lead in Europe and the world. Now we'll come for a little um, facts about Hawaii phones. So this is the Mate 40 Pro. So the type is OLED, HDR10, and the frame rate is uh, 90 hertz per second. So the size will come for the size. It's 6.76 inches, 
and 115.7 centimeters. So we can connect these all with perimeter and area and the dimensions 162.9 times 75.5 times 9.1 millimeter. This is also perimeter and multiplication. So the weight it's 212 grams. Now comes kind of heartbreaking point, the prize money. We all are afraid of buying the phones because of the very high expensive price. So it is 672.12 dirhams to 5,872.81 dirhams. And this may be shocking. It is 61,668.51 rupees to 1,15,693.39 rupees. So from here, I own, I hand over to my partner, Swasti. Thank you, Gautam. Mathematics has played an important role in the development of new technologies in cell phones. And one of the most required features of the cell phone is the screen resolution. Resolution is nothing but the screen display that includes number of pixels in the width and the height. So that means the main basic unit is pixels. Pixels are the smallest blocks or dots which make up the screen. When the screen or pixel is densely packed together, we get a much clearer screen or picture. Smartphone screen in pixels are normally represented by two numbers. For example, it means that 720 pixels are in the x-axis and 1980 pixels are in the y-axis. Some of the high resolutions in the Y phones are Full HD 1080 by 1920 pixels, Quad HD 1440 by 2560 pixels, 4K Ultra HD 2160 by 3840 pixels. In Hawaii Mate 40 Pro smartphone, the pixel resolution is 1344 by 4340 pixels. So it is clear that the greater number of pixels there are, the more clearer and the sharper the image is. Now let's answer the crucial question, what will happen if maths is not integrated with smartphones? The main problem would be about coding. As we all know that programming is all about dealing with numbers. The machine language uses the binary system which consists of 0 and 1. It would be really hard to code and decode commands and errors. So math is one of the most important tools for programmers to develop sophisticated applications. So this is all about the application of math in Hawaii smartphones. Thank you. Well done. You just had literally three seconds to go and you would start going in negative marking, but that was like, I like the way it was so precise that I'm going to wrap up only in less than two in four minutes. Wonderful. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you a question that uh, when you say Huawei tried to solve a lot of technical questions, I mean, technical problems using math, which concept of math did you think that they must have used for problem solving of any situation? See, tech problems could be multiple. I'm not asking the technical aspect of it. I'm just saying what concept of math would have been used for problem solving of this entire concept? that you just put across a while back? Um, yeah, sir, I think they might have used trial and error method. As we, ha we all have done the trial and error method. We try one thing, if, the, if it does not work, we try another thing. Try and error method may take a while, but it may should give an answer to it. So I hope that they might have done the trial and error method. It can be also algebra, coding and those stuff. Interesting. Any other pointers? Anybody would like to say from your team, Gotham or Swasti, or a good thing to move to the next one? It could also be related to binary system, binary code, because program the main basis of programming is the binary system, which is zero and one. So it would be very hard to code and decode commands and errors if there was no binary system. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. Well done. You guys managed to finish this also within a minute. So that's a very good thing to note. And on that note, I think everyone needs to give them a big round of applause. Come on, everyone. Let's give them a big round of applause. Team C, well done. You did a fabulous job. And now that we've learned about two different brands, we're going to go to the next brand, which is Team B, Team Samsung. Team B, are you ready? And your time yes, for four minutes starts now. Greetings all. 
Mobile phones are used mathematics as we use physics in making of mo mobile phones. And all the formula we use are made by numerical values of math. Even Samsung, a Korean-based smartphone company, uses a lot of mathematical concepts in the making of a Samsung phone. Samsung uses the natural numbers to name each of its smartphone versions like Samsung S10 where they use the natural number 10 to introduce the 10th version of the brand. We use math to describe every feature of the phone like the storage, display size, resolution, price, camera lens, battery power and so on. For example, in Samsung S21, it got the display size 6.2 inches which is 15.75 centimeter when we convert the inches to centimeter by multiplying 6.2 by 2.5 here we use math the battery life is 4000 milliamp per hour which is a unit that is used to measure the electricity power of a device in one hour and in this case which is 4000 milliamp or 4 amp per hour is a higher unit compared to milliamp and can be found by the amount of milliamp per hour by 1000 which is 4000 by 1000 which will give you 4 amp per hour that can last for 4000 hours if it loses 1 milliamp current in the circuit and also even the concept of percentage is used to show the amount of charge left in the percentage bar of 100% for example, if it shows 50%, it means that the half of the battery is consumed and the battery will only last half of its life from then on. Here, all the formulas we use take help from math like numerical digits and operations we use to find the exact value of the thing. Over to you, Aznan. Thank you. Let's take so let's take a closer look into one of the phones, Samsung S21. The natural numbers are used to calculate the RAM and storage of the phone, which are 8 GB RAM and 256 GB. The dimensions of the phone is 151.7, 71.2, and 7.9 millimeter, that is 15.17, 7.12, and 0 0.79 centimeter. When we divide the value by 10, the weight of the phone is 171 grams, that is 0 0.171 kilogram, by dividing 171 by 1000. Even math is used to count the price of the phone, which starts from AED 4899 in, in UAE and rupees and rupee 773,999 in India. If the mobile phone company did not use math it would be such it would be a chaos as they would not know the display size of the phone resolution how long the battery can last etc and people would not spend any money on the phone which does not have proper specification making the business go down all the phone will have different specification even it may be the same brand or version thank you Wonderful. I think that was an excellent example of how you could use math in every possible manner. Uh, and of course, everyone being, uh, you know, I mean, I personally being a big fan of Samsung, I know. Uh, but I also want to tell you that, you know, there was an incident which happened a couple of years back when a certain phone of Samsung was recalled back. Every person who bought that model was forced to return that phone back only a big brand like Samsung could actually do something about it. And they solved that problem not by changing or repairing the phone. They discontinued their entire concept of that phone for that particular year only. And that was a Note 7. Of course, there were new notes every year and everything worked very well. But do you think if a certain model did not do well, what do you think could have gone wrong in terms of Samsung, did they do anything mathematically wrong? Just to give you a broad perspective, the battery in that phone started exploding. So what do you think must have gone wrong mathematically? The mistake that, uh, that would possibly come is uh, because of uh, they did not uh, use the proper mathematical uh, methods. Like example, uh, they added more voltage, uh, they add more voltage to the uh, mobile phone uh, like more than what it could handle 
So the battery went uh, hot and uh, started heating up and uh, would have exploded. Or, yeah. Okay. That, that's a valid point. I'll agree because there was some there was some calculation error because of which this whole fiasco must have happened, right? So that's that's fair enough. I think everyone needs to clap for Team B really, very hard. Well done. Oh, yeah, we can. We can. Let's let everyone finish clapping for you. And Devach, please go ahead. You were saying something. Please unmute yourself and say what uh, you were saying. I meant that, uh, uh, you can uh, take the voltage. Uh, we can count how much volt they have uh, calculated using mathematical ways. Mathematical ways. Yep. That's what I meant. Excellent. I just want to add one point, which uh, Devraj just mentioned. Devraj or uh, Aznan, I'm not too sure who mentioned that point exactly, but uh, they did say a very relevant point, which I think is a good learning for all of us. We all use percentages in our math curriculums, and these guys mentioned about 50% of a battery. So every phone might show a 50% on their bat, I mean, 50% available battery on their phone. But the point is, you need to know that every phone's 50% would mean different time durations because every model works in a different way. Uh, an iPhone's 50% would last for a different amount of time as compared to an Android's 50% uh, phone. Even from brand to brand, it's going to differ. So that really makes a huge difference, right? And that is the reason why people use or companies use. 50% or 30%. They don't use 500 milliamper battery left out of 4000 milliamper battery. Of course, it's not feasible to have so much information on a small display as of today because you want all, you want the biggest display at every point of course, or every, every phone possible. But at the same time, you also need to keep in mind that percentage kind of makes your life easier, gives you an indication that half your battery or three fourths of your battery has already been consumed. So well done on that part, uh, Team D. I think that was a very, very relevant point. Now, on that note, let's Thank go to sir. Team A. Team A, what do we have over here? Today we have, oh, once again, I am extremely excited to hear what Apple has to offer now. Okay, so Team A, your time for four minutes starts now. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Fazumar Fas, with my teammate, Haini Ainam. Today, we are going to be talking about how mathematics is related with iPhones. Now, I would like Hanya to take on from here. Algebra is the study of mathematical symbols and rules for manipulating these symbols. It includes variables and constants, which sure comes in handy while coding the general structure of the phone to record our responses and other things. Now for the PPI. PPI stands for pixels per inch and is a measure of how tightly packed the pixels in a mobile cell phone are. PPI is actually the pixel density of the display screen of the mobile cell phone. We get the PPI of the mobile cell phone screen by dividing the number of pixels along either the vertical or horizontal axis by the length in inches of that side. Therefore, we can calculate the length of any side of a phone screen from the diagonal size of the phone screen and the pixel ratio between X and Y axis. Thus, we can calculate the size of the latest iPhone 12 Pro of 6.1 inch to have a pixel resolution of 2532 by 1170 at 460 ppi. Fitness is something we need to take care of. For that, iPhone has a default fitness app in which the active calories are calculated based on a number of parameters, including heart rate, movement, activity, and many other factors. These 260 active calories go towards a move target, while the total calories are simply an indication of all the calories burned throughout the day even when you are sitting. Now, let us see about the price calculation. The cost of the iPhone is calculated again by using mathematical formulas. 
by calculating the manpower and the labor used for the production, the cost of materials used and the number of items produced within the time span, which also varies on the configuration of the phone. The price of the product, the discount percent, all of them are calculated using mathematical formulas. Without maths, life would be probably a lot different from what we see now. As we have seen above, with the lack of maths, the iPhones that we see today wouldn't have been so convenient. The iPhones that work so seamlessly exist because of math. So, the more we love math, the more we come to know how magnificent the world around us is. Thank, Thank you. you. Excellent. That was really very nice and precise. You have 30 seconds to spare. Well done on that part. Now, I have a question that, you know, um, what is the one feature of an iPhone uh, that kind of strongly resonates towards math concepts? And there is something which we see year after year, Apple using that concept of math. Any suggestions? There's a certain concept of math that has been followed by the brand year after year. So the screen size and camera quality, Apple has really camera quality, which uh, highlights its, its brand. Okay, that's a good point. And Hania, anything from your side? They could also be using algebra. It's very important. And how would that be? How would they use algebra? Uh, to code the general structure of the iPhone and uh, to record the responses and all those. So that uh, okay. to, to adjust to uh, our, uh, our easiness. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think the one concept that I was referring to, you guys have put it across very well about algebra, how they use algebra for a couple of things. Every year, iPhones will be launched, which would have different storage variations. And they charge you slightly on the higher side for more storage because they don't have an option to expand the storage. Another aspect is to maintain certain amount of quality, getting software updates, which is very, very regular in every smartphone of Apple. It may, it may differ from different Android phones, but for an Apple phone, if you have a certain phone after which for the next five years, you will get regular updates about all the new software features as well. So Algebra is definitely used because they know what kind of phones will they manufacture for the next five years. And keeping that in mind, they decide what all should they include, what all should they not include. Okay, well done, everyone. I think we need to give a big round of applause to Team A for putting across the points in an amazing manner. Come on, everyone. I think this is a fantastic presentation of thoughts. Now, of course, uh, it's one of the most difficult parts of our session for the day, which definitely leads us to understanding that almost every team is struggling with a gap of about two to three points only. And this is definitely going to be a very, very close competition. I think week after week, everyone, uh, you know, you all have started reaching a position wherein actually the winner may just be a 0.5 of points ahead as compared to the other ones. So, you know, I think all of you have done so well, and uh, I think it's time for us to use our mystery box. Now, this mystery box is something which we need to understand will be actually a deciding factor in today's results. So in, or in order to make sure that everyone gets a fair opportunity, I'm going to be sharing the mystery box question, followed by a short ad. And I'm going to allow you some time to think about your thoughts. Every team will be given one minute to present their ideas. Either one could speak or both of you could speak. The choice is completely yours. And while you present your ideas, of course, these are based on a random thought. But you could use that particular concept or that question towards your specific brand as an example and share your thoughts. So far, everyone with me on the same page, can I get a thumbs up if you follow the rules? I repeat, this is going to be the deciding factor 
because almost everyone is so close that only this this last round can decide which team can actually be the winner right now the question is with every new year coming in there's a lot of changes happening on the smartphone but in the recent one or two years we've seen a major change in the way the smartphone is packaged in terms of the box so some phones or some companies have let gone of big bulky boxes they made it into slimmer smaller boxes while on the other side some of them still continue with bigger boxes and some of them don't even provide chargers so in your opinion what mathematical concept was being used by your company to either reduce the size of the boxes or keep the same size of the boxes in either of the case what concept of math was actually utilized i'll repeat my question that as of today you've seen a lot of smartphones being shipped in smaller and thinner boxes where in a lot of components which used to be a part of the box earlier is now no longer present so in order to understand what mathematical concept was used to reduce the size or maintain the size or increase the size by a certain brand what concepts of math were applied and why do you think they must have applied it okay i think we're going to go for a short break in the meantime all of you could brainstorm and come up with some amazing ideas I hope all of you understood the question. If you have any questions about the question, you can tell me right now before we take a break. Anybody, any questions? Please feel free to unmute yourself. Okay. Yes, we have a question from Gautam. Yeah. Uh. Yes, yeah, sir. So actually, in Hawaii boxes, um, every year they are packaging in a slim and uh, you know, long box. So how will I classify them? Mm -hmm. Should I just see uh, how they are like um? they are not bringing any changes so how would like um, answer this question you may think you may suggest yes. that why do you think they are not making any changes what would be the logic behind it mathematical logic not the company logic okay sounds good we're all set for a break then everyone put your thinking hat on and we are back i'm going to give you maybe a minute so that you can you know brainstorm i'm not going to bother you at all don't worry it's an important decision you've got to make this is going to be like a deciding factor I'm going to give you precisely another 30 seconds. And after that we're going to be discussing what do you think is actually going to who's going to be the winner and what inspired that team to become the winner. And I'm going to share that as well this time. So stay tuned and also I can see a lot of curiosity on everyone's faces. I'm sure everyone's trying to think what think what should you actually present which is very good. and i'm hoping that all of you are enjoying and i'm hoping all your friends are watching this show and constantly supporting you using the comment section and with that we wrap up our waiting time and let's go to team a to present their ideas team a you have 1 minute and your time starts team a would you be of both of you are ready okay yes, the time starts now yes sir so if you would have noticed recently the boxes Go ahead. in which iphones are packaged are quite smaller comparing to other phones 
Now, this is due to the fact that iPhone is very popular and quite large selling comparing to other phones. So, uh, so they have to check the, they have to make the most cost effective box and uh, making it much more larger will make it will require more cost and more items. And uh, it and it can also be more environmentally friendly by making it much Interesting. More smaller and using the minimum minimal amounts of plastic. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go to team number B now. According to me, uh, the mathematical concept they use from uh, uh, for reducing and increasing the size of the boxes are perimeter and area. Perimeter and area uh, decides the dimensions of the box. Uh, so the less uh, the less they got in uh, length, thickness, uh, like. If they make it the uh, if they reduce the volume, it would be more convenient and people could use it much more conveniently and uh, uh, people can carry it around and it's very easy to uh, even deliver. If it was uh, so, they use the uh, they reduce the volume, they reduce the thickness, they reduce the height, they reduce the width, and uh, totally making it into a smaller box uh, with less volume. So that people can uh, take it, uh, like use it more conveniently. Interesting. Well done. Uh, thank you. We'll go to the next team member. Uh, sorry, next team. I meant to say we'll go to team number C. Your time starts now. Yeah. So I see there are a number of factors which um, you know result in this smaller packaging. I agree with both the team A and B. So I have another point. It depends on the percentage of people's psychology. People think that, I mean, smaller boxes and skinnier boxes are more better than, you know, the larger boxes. So Hawaii, maybe, or other products think that percentage of, um, you know, psychological people who think this thing is higher than, which is average than the normal people. So maybe this percentage is uh, helping those companies to reduce the size of the packaging. And I also agree with both the teams uh, and their facts. Now, if um, if my teammate wants to say something, uh, she can go ahead. Yes, uh, I also think that every model has a different, it might have a different perimeter of volume. So according to the mobile size, they might design the different box every year or after every design. Yeah, so that's it for us. Okay, that sounds interesting. Thanks, Swasti. Uh, that was a good point. Okay, well done. Let's go to team team D. Yes. Time starts now, team D. Yes, sir. So the math concept used in uh, the boxes of. Would you like to start? What? Yes, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Hello. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can. Go ahead. Yes, sir. The math concepts used in the boxes are volume and perimeter can be used. While the screens are getting bigger, the thickness of the smartphones tend to decrease. People also think that the thinner the boxes are, it's thinner the boxes. It's like more the ratings increased for Vivo and Oppo. Where they when they decrease the sizes of the box, the rating was increased, and the math concepts are perimeter and volume, sir. Excellent. I think that's amazing. And I have to say, each one of you have to give a big round of applause to all the teams who have come up with such ideas at such a short notice. That's amazing. Well done, all of you. I think all of you truly, truly deserve a big round of applause. Let's clap for each one of you. Well done. Now, unfortunately, we'll have to pick one member or one, I mean, two, two members and one team who actually will decide to qualify for the next round and also be the winner of this round. Of course, there are numbers involved, a lot of math involved in it. Uh, 
I just feel that personally, all of you contributed a lot of good talking points. And we're very, very happy to know that how math was applied in so many brands. I actually now look at things and I'm sure with today's pandemic around, everyone sitting on mobile phones, doing a lot of online learning, doing everything possible from a smartphone can start looking at how math is involved while setting up a session like this. I mean, we are using a, a platform where I can see certain number of boxes that all of us sitting. There's a lot of math involved in that. There's a certain limitation that can allow certain number of people only on this stage. Every phone is going to have certain set of cameras and a certain amount of software which we're using the right algebraic equation to support each other. So the LHS is equal to RHS only and only when the software and the hardware meet together. If we have the best hardware and the worst software, it's going to be a, a disaster. Right? So something like a brand like Nokia, which used to exist, the best, soft, the best hardware but the worst software, unfortunately, got it out of the market. Right? Anyways, I would like to announce the winners of today's debate. All of you have done a fabulous job. But while I don't want to just give away the winner so easily, I want to see some amount of tension on everyone's face. Are you all curious? Are you all excited to know who's actually the winner? Can I ask Team yes, D, sir. who do you think is the winner today? Team D, who do you think is going to win today? Except for your team, you can say any other team member's name. Sir, I'm not sure. Like everybody did amazing, so we can't actually yeah, pick. Sir. We cannot choose between the teams, sir. They wow, did so good, is... sir. Yeah, you got to go back to the same friends in the class. You know, you can't take sides now. So you know, I understand. I understand the diplomacy, but well done. I think Team B. Do you think who's going to be the winner today? Any suggestions according to you, Team uh, B? Actually, uh, we actually we can't. Team B, right? Team B, sir, right? Yeah. Team B, sir, yeah. It, uh, sir, uh, for us, because like, sir, we, uh, we've gone to throw so many obstacles together. Like we've uh, competed so many competitions. I've seen so, uh, most of the students uh, did uh, nicely. Uh, like means above expectations, sir. So I I can't pick, sir, because it's uh, I, all of them did great. So it's very tough to uh, choose among all of them because that's that's very good. For me, there are some points that everyone said were totally different from each of them. For example, A have said uh, totally different from uh, uh, Team C and Team D. It's the same for other teams, so it's not easy to compare between those teams. Imagine what position you're putting me to do right now. I mean, you guys cannot decide, but I have to sit down and decide that, right? It's so unfair with me. You guys are not being fair with me. Team A, who do you think is going to be the winner? Any any guesses, Team A? Come on. No guesses? So, like, okay, so I have the here same we are. Say, like, all the other teams said, all of them performed well, so I don't, I can't tell. Okay, I'm assuming there was a slight lag in communication, but that's fine. I figured you want to play the diplomatic card too, and you don't want to take anyone's name. Team C, would you want to take the same card, or you want to say whom do you think is actually the winner today? Sir, I don't want to be diplomatic, but uh, I I don't want others, you know, um, innocent hearts to be, you know, broken. I just want everyone to be the winner. Uh, that's my uh, point. Everyone did their best. Everyone worked hard for the past week. Everyone squeezed their brain, crushed their brain to, you know, um, take all the knowledge from their brain and did research work. So I think their hard work, their, uh, you know, patience, their dedication, uh, you know, they should be praised and they should have uh, that, that, you know, that thing. Everybody should uh, deserve that thing, sir. Yeah, I think that's what everyone sir, should be I taking think that, and moving ahead um, with everybody this did equally discussion. Well. All of you did I don't want to well. 
I yeah, don't want ahead, to get involved. I don't want to get involved in any friendship rivalry. So I'm just I'm not gonna say anyone's name, but everybody did equally well, and I think everyone are deserved to be winners. Excellent. Now it's time for us. We just have less than two minutes to end this session, and the winner for today's session is my friend. I would rather say friends because there were two members in the team for pulling a very, very good introduction and a very, very good point in today's debate. Everyone clap for Team C. Please clap for them. Sir, actually, your voice was lagging a bit. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's look at your certificates. So your voice was lagging, sir. Well, that was a bad, bad timing, isn't it? For while declaring the results, did you yes. all realize yes, who was the winner? Yes, I, I heard. Who was he, sir. I heard. It's Team C. Let's congratulate Team C. Let's clap for them, and let's flash the certificates as well. Thank Thank you, sir, and everyone for appreciating okay. a lot. I really think that Gotham played a really good role in guiding me and guiding us towards the success. And I congratulate everybody else as well. Yeah, thank you. Um, even I agree with Swasti because Excellent. without her, well done, work, everyone. I all did very well. Yes, Gautam. Yeah, sir. As Swasti appreciated me, even I want to appreciate her. Um, uh, actually, without her cooperation, her dedication. Uh, actually, she was the first. You know, she only uh set all the scripts and those stuff. I was like lagging behind, and she was the first. You know, a fellow to um dedicate her work. She was very enthusiastic at the starting, and maybe her dedication, her enthusiasm, um, led us to success. Uh, success, I think so. Well, that's very good teamwork, very good appreciation, and all of you have done a fabulous job. I, I must say that all of you did a good amount of research, and uh, every point that you've said is actually going to help so many kids. So once again, a big round of applause for Team C. I'm wishing you all the very best. Stay tuned for our maths debate, which happens every Saturday. And Team C, we'll be seeing you very soon in the inter-school competition. Till then, yeah, sir. signing out. Bye bye, everyone. Bye, sir. Bye bye, everyone. Bye, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you.